but I like to paint my ancestor story. You know, if I can find them, I'll paint, I like to paint them. We hear all about the Eureka story and it's all about um, the gold and the miners and the soldiers and everything. But what about tr traditional owners? Well, they were there and they were a part of the Eureka stockade and the Eureka story, so they should be included. My painting is of the Eureka stockade and my people, the Wathurung, in the bush minding the miners' children as the battle raged in the stockade. And these are the, mount, the black mounted police and uh, there were black... Now that I painted it and there's a picture of it, well, they know about it. But before, did you ever see the Aboriginal people in the Eureka, uh, to do with the Eureka? No, nobody did. And I mean, they were here. This is their traditional lands, you know? Yeah. And they were begging and they were trying to survive, you know? Yeah, so it's all sort of documented that they, they were there. Yeah. King Billy was my great-great-grandfather, this man here. And this is Queen Mary, his wife. Well, you um, see, see her in the books with the... They've got her set up there with the, um, the colonised clothes on, the possum skin cloak, um, the little baskets. They're very clever. Um, the wood carving and the basket weaving, that they made absolutely beautiful workmanship in them things. But, you know, there's all the little camp dogs in it, but, you know, I like him. He's sort of like a proud king standing there with his breastplate. But it's also a very demeaning thing, in my opinion. They gave it to them to wear because um, it gave them, people recognised who they were and gave them, they thought, a bit of prestige, like I'm the king. There was no such things as kings in Aboriginal society. They were just, you know, the Arweet, the head of the clan, you know. People would give him things or, oh, he's the king, this is his country, you know, and it, it gave him a lot of free alcohol, which was a bad thing, and a lot of free other things. And in this, my people were mounted police and black trackers. They performed corroborees, sold possum skin rugs and minded the children. Um, and they were circus performers. There's lots of things, but um, as their food source The was life going, on the gold fields, that was their life, how hard it must have been for them to survive because the forests were disappearing, the food source was disappearing, and they had to do these things the best, survive the best way they could. I think they deserve to have their story told because he was the rightful owner of all this land. This was his country, this was his land, and how proud he would have been of his land and how they used to look after it, you know? I think their story is a sad, but you know, once great story. Mm.